good morning 8th standard lesson 5 so last class we were seeing uh, fairly course uh, french translation passage so last class i have been discussing with you this para and i gave you uh, the answers for these exercise complete these brave four répondre and as i said before this class we will be seeing on uh, translation of this one translation so uh, right after this translation i will dictate the translation and then i'll teach you this page number 52 from this u fait vous le cours so based on this i'll teach you all these things and out of this page i'll ask a choose for online test okay so page number 52 and 53 you can mark it so it's a very simple one that is what product where you will buy okay so the name of the product and where you will buy so this is today's task so we are just going to start the translation now so in case if you have your class work ready you can keep it ready as i dictate please take it down fair le cours that is to do shopping fair le cours to do shopping so if you are ready with your pen or pencil i think i can start uh, translating it okay hope uh, we can start first i'll read the first sentence in french and then i'll uh, translate the same sentence in english okay c'est samedi madame loving fait les courses toujours les samedi it's saturday madame loving goes to shopping on all saturdays or else you can write madame loving does shopping every saturday it's saturday madame loving goes to shopping every saturday or madame loving does shopping always in saturday d'abord elle va au marché so at first she goes to the market so at first she goes to the market elle veut des légumes she wants to buy some vegetables elle veut des légumes she wants to buy some vegetables pomme de terre haricot vert et champignon that is tomato green beans and mushrooms i repeat potato green beans and mushrooms al ashad osi de free she also buys some fruits al ashad osi de free she also buys some fruits banan pom e poire that is bananas apples and pears the spelling of pears is p e a r s banana apples and pears ils ont très frais au marché they are very fresh at the market ensuite elle va à la boucherie next she goes to the butcher shop next she goes to the butcher shop
Elle achète de la viande. She buys some meat. She buys some meat. The meaning of words calf, C A L F, calf and mutton. M U T T O N, mutton. She buys some meat, calf and mutton. Enfin, elle va à la boucherie. Finally, she goes to the bread shop. Enfin, elle va à la boucherie. Finally, she goes to the bread shop. Elle connaît une bonne boulangerie ici. She knows a very good bread shop here. She knows a very good bread shop here. So now she is at the bread shop. À la boulangerie, you can write at the bread shop. Okay, so before uh, getting into this dialogue, I'll repeat this once again and then we will go to the next dialogue. It's Saturday. Please check your uh, written script. It's Saturday. Mrs. Loving does shopping every Saturday. At first she goes to the market. She wants to buy some vegetables, potatoes, green beans and mushrooms. She also wants to buy some fruits, bananas, apples and pears. They are very fresh at the market. Next she goes to the butcher shop. She buys some meat, calf and mutton. Finally, she goes to the bread shop. She knows a very good bread shop here. So that is the passage. So now we are going to the dialogue. The boulanger, the bread maker. Bonjour madame, que désirez-vous? Good morning, madam. What can I do for you or what do you want? Both are correct. Mrs. Loving. Bonjour, je veux un kilo de pain et une baguette. Good morning. I want a kilo of bread and a French bread. Baguette is a long French bread. Okay, you can write a long French bread. So in case if you want to see baguette, you can just Google it and you can see a long French bread which is crossed. Okay. So I repeat. Good morning. I want a kilo of bread and a long French bread or a French bread. The shopkeeper that is the bread shop maker. Voilà, madame, vous voulez autre chose? Voilà, madame, here it is, ma'am. Would you like to have something else? Do you want something else or would you like to have something else? Both are correct. Madame Loving. Oui, donnez-moi un gâteau, petit gâteau au chocolat et une tarte au prune. So, yes. Give me some, give me also a small chocolate cake. Yes, give me also a small chocolate cake and a plum pie. In tart o prune means plum pie. I will spell it P L U M E plum. Sorry, P L U M plum pie. P I E. So if you type this in Google, if you can see the image, you, you will get a clear, clear idea. So I repeat the last sentence. Yes, give me, give me a small, 
chocolate cake and a plum pie we continue go to the next page of the book yeah the bread maker setu madam that's enough ma'am or you can say is it all is it all okay ma'am or you can say anything more you want ma'am or that's it ma'am everything is correct so we'll go with that's it ma'am okay that's it ma'am madam loving we oui, safe combien yes how much does it cost or you can say yes how much we cannot literally translate word by word that will not give a correct sense so i am just giving in the conversation method okay yes how much it cost or how much to make it simple ça fait 15 euro 30 you can just enter the amount it's 15 euros it's ça fait will, will become it is it is 15 euros 30 madam loving voilà l'argent here's the money here's the money the bread maker merci madam bon journée thank you ma'am have a nice day the following answer is madam loving bon journée that is have a nice day now as we have already finished this uh, previous para i am just concentrating on the second dialogue alone i will repeat the french passage in english you just try to correct if anything is wrong okay uh, i'll just straight away read the english version okay good morning ma'am what can i do for you or what do you want okay so good morning i want a kilo of bread and a french bread here is it ma'am here is it ma'am do you want anything else yes give me a small chocolate cake and a plum pie the bread maker that's it ma'am yes how much it is or how much it's 15 euros 30 here's the money thank you ma'am have a nice day have a nice day so we are done with the french translation so translation is over hope you took out took this translation so what's next now we are going to this page number 52 so we are done with uh, french translation now let's discuss on this page number 52 and 53 so only this page will be coming for your online test okay so we are going to discuss on this who fe who fetch bu le cours so where do you go for shopping so normally here in india now uh, the recent culture is will go to a supermarket for example like pothis you will go to fourth floor you will find everything right but in foreign countries Uh, everything will not be, yeah there will be supermarket but there will be specialized shop for example if you go for a bakery you will get bread and uh, cake right so like that there will be uh, shops small shops uh, which which is very special there and people visit that shop to buy a particular thing for example we are going to see what it is on peut faire les courses au supermarché là on trouve tous les produits on peut aussi acheter les produits dans les boutiques spécialisées so what you have given us we can buy in supermarket we can find all the products in the supermarket that is why it is called as supermarket we need not go here and there we can find everything in the supermarket but in case if you go for a specialized shop there you can get the varieties or uh, from different uh, region the product might have 
come for example spices you can uh, get from different kind of region around the france it will uh, cheese everything will differ right so like that we'll see one by one okay la boulangerie so boulangerie you know what it is it is a bread shop right so il y a les pains les croissants les baguettes et etc à la boulangerie so when you go to boulangerie i, I think you would have visited a bread shop for example if you go for a bread basket or whatever uh, bread shop which is available here you can see different kinds of bread see uh, see normally bread what we will have is bread butter bread jam right but french people they will have different kinds of bread for uh, because normally we eat idli and dosa here right but uh, in france they will normally take bread mostly in the morning afternoon sometimes in the evening so that is the difference so if you see in this picture uh, one madam has visited a bread shop to purchase and you could see varieties of bread here okay so that is the difference from uh, india to france so since they rely most on the bread as a breakfast they get different kinds of bread to make their breakfast beautiful okay so what is available in the bread shop is pain les croissants le baguette etc so croissant le pain is a normal bread croissant is a crossed bread that's why it's called as croissant so we'll see the next one la pâtisserie il y a tout sort de gâteau tarte brioche éclair etc à la pâtisserie pâtisserie is always called as a pastry shop okay so Uh, if you go to a cake shop normally in india we will not have fresh cream cake that is from foreign countries we have adapted that culture and nowadays when we celebrate birthday we will use only fresh cream cake most of us we like it right so for black forest whatever uh, chocolate truffle whatever you select it is a fresh cream cake okay so normally uh, french people they have dessert dessert doesn't mean the sandy region what i mean here is it's a sweet which we have after the lunch or dinner okay so it is just to get a good digestion they will have so the next shop is la boucherie it's a meat shop what we have here in the boucherie is pour la viande so what kind of viande we will have meat shop beef chicken mutton so you can see varieties of meat here okay so that is available in boucherie next is cremerie cremerie is nothing but what you milk products whatever the milk products we have here pour le beurre uh, le fromage les produits laitiers on va la cremerie so butter cheese and whatever milk products other than that everything we can get in cremerie okay so these two shops you are, are well known for it other shops i will i will describe a lot okay lepicerie so very few shops you would have seen a shop called lepicerie lepicerie is a shop to get spices okay so which is out of leaves anything spices which is out of leaf or very uh, uh, good for our health mostly we will say uh, here we will say as ayurvedic or whatever it is for example tea coffee okay spices spices so here in india we will get biryani spices separately no like that in france they will have some uh, spices for doing pasta okay there are some leaves which makes pasta smell good okay so those spices will be uh, sold out in this shop lepicerie if you go to this shop you can find pickles whatever you want it will be kept in a bottle like this and that will be for uh, coming out for one year so you can use it so jam uh, so uh, whatever spices you want you can buy it here so tooth sort the prudi a lepicerie so that is what they say whatever spices you want you can get it here next is le marché on peut acheter les légumes et les fruits 
Frais au marché. So, le marché is where you get vegetables and fruits. So, this everyone knows it. Even in the lesson, it is being repeated. Now, last one is la poissonnerie. La poissonnerie is poisson. Out of the name itself, you can get a clue. Poisson means fish. Poissonnerie means where you buy fish. It is called poissonnerie. Pour les fruits de mer. So, they call fishes as the fruits of the sea. Les fruits de mer. So, you might have a doubt why it is called as free. Okay. So, that is the fruits of the sea. See how they... A beautiful uh, expression, no? Le free the mer. So whatever the things we get from the sea, they call them as a fruit. So what is that fruit? All the fishes, crabs, and the prawns. Whatever you buy from the fish market, it is called la poissonnerie. So how I am going to ask questions on this is, I'll mention, on va à la poissonnerie pour acheter what? Poisson, crab. Huge, right? So, like that, I will ask you a question. So, based on this, there is a exercise. Okay. So, see, for example, this is the exercise. Le prononce on one we general sense. So, this is on that is third person singular. When we use il al, we can also use on. For example, for example, uh, oneself will buy fish from the fish market right so i am not saying he is buying or she is buying one person one individual right so in that cases you can write on oh. it might be male or female if you want to give a general opinion about something you can use on on va a la boucherie so we go to the butcher so this on doesn't means we other that means it might be male or female on peut acheter les légumes. We can buy vegetables. So based on this, I want you to do a homework. And that is exercise number 7 from the new book. So exercise number 7. 6 and 7 you try to do. Okay. So 6 is nothing but finding the hard one out. So it is mostly from the things which we revise now. 6 and 7. A la boucherie on achète. So boucherie what is? Boucherie is? butcher shop so what we will buy there so i'll give you three options you have to find out the right one au marché what we will buy fruits and what vegetables la crèmerie so like that i will arrange it choose the best answer and you have to find out of it and uh, chasse lanthus exercise number six what you have to do is you have to find the hard one le poulet la pomme le veau le boeuf if you find the hard one out, le poulet is a meat, le beau is a meat, le boeuf is a meat. So la pomme is the only fruit. So round up this. So like this, you can go one by one. La pomme, la poire, l'orange, la pomme de terre. So la pomme is a fruit. L'orange, la poire is a fruit. La pomme de terre is a vegetable. So you have to round this. Le dîner, le goûter, le petit déjeuner, le thé. So le dîner, le goûter, le petit déjeuner. So you are, you, these things are coming under eating time. So the te comes under drinking. So you can like this you have to find for the 4 and 5 also. Okay. So based on that I will create a online test for you and I will update it on it. So what you have to write for today. Already we have written this uh, French translation. So after the translation what I want you to write is write all these things for example who fit who course who like course uh, keep writing this la pala la bouche that is page number 52 and 53 fully write it in the lesson part no need to take it in grammar part because this information is based on the lesson so write it in the lesson part itself okay so that's it for today and i think uh, we had a, a very good session today so kindly take it down and uh, please revise the uh, translation which I did now. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Merci.